Hey folks, my name is Zach Brammer. I work at Andy Moore Hyundai here in Bloomington, Indiana, and today we are going to be taking a look at a 2023 Hyundai Elantra SEL with convenience package. This one has the Portofino gray exterior color and the black interior. So what we'll do is we'll take a walk around the outside, we'll take a look at some of the features and the space on the inside, then we'll take it for a drive around the parking lot, and at the end of the video, um, I go over any warranty information and anything I may have missed. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you found anything useful, please hit like or subscribe. Let's just get into the video. All right, folks, so we'll remote start it. Hit lock once, press hold. All right. So again, 2023 Hyundai Elantra SEL with convenience. Uh, this one gets 30 city, uh, 40 highway for a combined average of 40. With the convenience package, some of the stuff you get is the 10.25 inch screen with navigation. Uh, you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wired. Uh, you get smart cruise control with stop and go, which is another great feature. A leather wrapped steering wheel, wireless charging pad. You get heated front seats and heated side view mirrors. That all comes on uh, the convenience package. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop the trunk. There's a button right here to open trunk. It's a pretty deep trunk. Uh, you do have tabs on both right and left to uh, be able to fold the seats down. Not a 60-40 split, it all has to go down. Down below here, spare tire tools. Make sure we don't ruin the cargo net. All right, now we'll hop back into the uh, back row and see what sort of space we have back there. All right, folks, so here is the uh, back seat. Um, so what I like doing for this section is I put the driver's seat about halfway through the tracks and then the passenger seat all the way back. I'm six foot two as a point of reference. So we'll hop back here into the second row. So as you can see with the seat about midway through the tracks, I have plenty of space, can even kind of go a little bit farther if I need to. I'm not even gonna attempt to get behind the passenger seat as you can see. Um, it is just not a lot of space. No real amenities back here. Um, some of the higher trims, you do get a USB outlet. Some fans back here. What we'll do is we'll hop up into the driver's seat, take a look at some of those features, and then after that, we'll take it for a spin. All right, folks, we'll do keyless entry. If you've got the key within a two foot radius, you can just press this button to unlock the doors. Open it up. Here's what the door panel looks like. Dark black uh, seats with a little bit of white and gray trimming down the center. We'll hop in, turn it on. All right, starting here on the left side, you're gonna have your blind spot monitoring system in the side view mirror. Down below here, you can control the brightness of the screen. So we're gonna turn that all the way up and your lane keeping assist. Over here on the left half of the steering wheel is gonna be your media controls. Uh, you can use that to control Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Left stock is going to be uh, your headlights as well as your auto high beam assist. Over here on the right, um, you can control what's displayed up here on the dash, as well as your cruise, adaptive cruise, um, lane following assist is all can all be controlled here. So we'll go ahead and get to the digital speedometer. Oh, gotta add it, hold on one sec, sorry. Hold, enter, check mark that one, exit, now it should be right here. All right, so uh, cool thing about the dash is it, whenever you change the drive mode, um, it kind of changes how it's displayed. Um, there's a few other themes you can set um, up there and I will do that in another video, show you how to do that. Right stock controls the windshield wiper, no rear windshield wiper in this vehicle. Push to start right here, so you can just keep the key in your pocket the entire time. You've got the 12.3 inch screen with built-in navigation. Um, that does make it have wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have a bunch of buttons down here that could, can do the same thing that you can do on the touch screen. Your hazards are right here, kind of hidden in the center. Dual climate control, heated seats um, that come on the uh, convenience package, which is pretty nice. You can control all your different HVAC controls there. Down below, kind of hidden, you got two USB outlets. The center one that reads USB um, is the one you would plug in for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have a wireless phone charger right down here on the left side and a 12 volt outlet right there. Actual gear shifter, no shift by wire. 
button to pull up your parking camera, but we'll go ahead and throw it in reverse so you can see trajectory lines move when you move the steering wheel. You've got two different cameras, so you get your straight back view and you got an above view of uh, the trunk area. So this silver bumper, grayish bumper, is uh, the car's actual bumper, so it helps with parallel parking. And then the yellow line is trajectory. So as you move that, it also moves. So what we'll do is put it back in park. Electronic parking brake, auto hold. You've got a really cool cup holder system, so it's super deep right now, but what you can do is you can pull this out, flip it around, and now it's a more of a shorter cup holder. More for like smaller coffee cups and everything like that, but we will flip this back around. And then here, deep center console, um, no sort of outlets or anything in there. Um, Two most talked about things are the bar right here um, that's supposed to make it simulate like you're in a cockpit. And then you got a little Death Star over here um, that on some of the inline automatic ones is a drive mode select. Um, up here, you've got a manual dimming rear view mirror. Um, we'll get a close up of the seats here. And then the passenger area over here, club box. All right, we'll hook it up to the side window here and we'll take it for a spin. All right, folks, we are going to take it for a quick spin around the parking lot here. Move this out a little bit. There we go. So this one has the uh, 2.0 four-cylinder engine. Decent amount of pickup for a small sedan. For a 90 degree turn, looks like we have to turn the steering wheel almost 360 degrees. All right, for this next part, I'm going to stop talking and we can hear the uh, road noise and the engine sound. All right, folks, so again, that is the 2023 Elantra SEL with convenience package. Um, the total price with this one with the convenience package and the added features is uh, $25,370. The convenience package uh, does cost an additional $1,900. Um, so the manufacturer's original suggested retail, retail price prior um, to any sort of added features is $21,900. And then uh, freight and handling is $1,115 currently. Um, so the warranty is 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain. You get 5-year, 60 basic new car warranty, 3-year, 36,000 miles on the high-tech portions. Now, you do get a 3-year subscription to the app called Blue Link, where you can turn the car on, off, lock it, and unlock it, all from an app on your phone. You can even see where it is on a map, set up notifications like speed limits and all sort of cool stuff like that. Uh, you do get 3 years, 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. So uh, with this one being um, just a normal non-turbo, it's every uh, 7,500 miles oil change, uh, oil filter, and tire rotation as needed. Um, so my overall impressions is a pretty good solid commuter car. Um, gets pretty solid gas mileage for a non-hybrid, uh, 40 miles per gallon on the highway. That's pretty nuts uh, in today's day and age. Um, but yeah, overall it's pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't get the Portofino gray. There's some other cooler colors, but this is just what we had in stock. So if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, if you found anything useful and you made it this far, hit like, hit subscribe, uh, really helps out. But um, I'll catch you in the next review. Have a good day. All right.
right, folks, I want to show you kind of what the My Hyundai Blue Link app looks like. Um, so this is what it is for my vehicle. You've got a few different options here on the home screen. You've got, um, you can start, stop the engine, lock, unlock. If you start the uh, vehicle from the app, you can choose what temperature. You can have a few different settings here. Um, you can change how long it goes for, what the temperature is, um, whenever you start it. And then here you can go, if you have more than one Hyundai vehicle, you can hit My Garage, switch between. Um, you can also schedule service by clicking My Dealer here. And I'll let you know exactly which one's closest to you. That's our dealership right there. And then down below, it lets you know how many uh, miles per gallon you have left and any sort of other stuff. Um, you can go to Car Care here. Um, it'll let you know like what your recommended uh, service, uh, how many miles into your next recommended service, all that sort of stuff. So pretty cool app. Just thought I'd show it to you, see what it looks like, because uh, I mentioned it earlier.